you the interest and desire to start wood carving, and how long have you been doing this? I, I really believe my maker gave me the interest, because I was always interested in working with wood. And I've done many projects working with wood. Uh, when I was, oh, I suppose 10, 12, 13 years old, my uh, parents gave me a wood burning set. So that started me in wood burning. And I still have everything that they gave me. And uh, uh, I carved, I uh, burned several things out. And then uh, uh, I went camping and a guy was carving a walking stick out of uh, diamond willow and so I said I'm going to do that so I carved a stick out of diamond willow and got the stick over here about 40 years ago so that started me in doing sticks and I did some canes. Okay this here is a piece of diamond willow okay and what happens in certain places in the United States the willow tree gets a disease and it forms these diamonds. Now this is a raw piece, this is how I buy it, okay? This is a diamond willow cane that is finished. This is how it looks when it's finished. This one I made about 50 years ago, 40 years ago, something like that. Anyhow, this here, uh, they cut a bunch of trees down on the golf course and we salvaged the wood and this is, this is, uh, uh, manzanita of some kind. I've never seen it that straight. But anyhow, this is going to be my shepherd's stick. And I have a shepherd's cane to put on the top. And uh, I'm going to do this all in Egyptian art. And I'm going to burn it in. I'm not going to carve it in. This here is a stick that was, this is called my sippy pole. And the reason for that is it was taken out of the Mississippi River in New, uh, New Orleans and uh, in the New Orleans area. And this little girl had pulled it out of the river and this stick had been cleaned off the bark by the beavers, they eat bark, and then this is a beaver cut. And then I carved an Indian head in, this is all the states it's been in. And this is my sippy pole, okay? And I traded this little girl for this stick and she was a tough dealer, she knew I wanted that stick. So I had this one was at Monte Gras and I had this long pair of beads you put them around the neck and they touch the ground, right? And that's what she wanted. I didn't want to give up them beads because they're the only ones I had. But guess what? She's got the beads and I got the stick and we're both happy. And where do you do most of your work? I, uh, to give you a little history on it, I'm a docent at the Adobe, a 150-year-old Adobe. And uh, we have a, uh, every year we have a Adobe days and the uh, Vista wood carvers used to show up and I became a, a good friend with a wood carver out there and uh, I visited with them and I talked with them and I brought my sticks out and showed them to me and they invited me to join their club. I do uh, 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 four hours a week wood carving at the club but uh, most of my work is done in my garage where I have a a full set of tools and I have a rule, don't borrow a tool if you need it, buy it. So <laughs> I love tools, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're good. By the way, this stencil bunk is made out of all, all uh, scrap. There's nothing here that I bought except this piece right here I bought because it's soft plastic and it holds your piece real nice. Alright, so we're going to we're going to proceed here. These are foot deals. You release it to move your work. Push it to tighten it down. And you take your draw knife and you get it the right way. That's another trick you get. And then you just start drawing off the mark. And this, uh, this uh, takes it off about 10 times faster than, and you release it, turn it about 10 times faster than just doing it with a knife. Do you have plans to sell your finished work? I would like a new scooter and this new scooter is $1,800 and my wife don't think I need it because I already have two so I have to uh, make some money to buy this scooter that don't come out of the family coffins. Uh, mostly the way I market uh, 
byproduct is uh, I'll take a cane and uh, I'll walk into the bank and the bank girl says, oh, I like your cane. Where did you buy that? No, I said, I didn't buy it. I made it. And she's immediately interested. I've sold, uh, uh, I've sold two canes uh, at Walmart to people that work at Walmart. Uh, I have a cane going to Canada. Uh, uh, no, this walking stick going to Canada, which is going to uh, uh, help along with my purchase of that new scooter. And it's going to be a real nice cane, or a walking stick, I believe. So, that's my plans. <laughs>